my name is James DiBiazio. I'm writing thrillers. I'm also writing history. I'm going to be visiting Bagan, uh, the ancient Buddhist capital of what is now today called Myanmar, also known as Burma. Bagan is a beautiful city set on a plain on a bend of the Irrawaddy River. It is populated by literally thousands of temples. It's a World Heritage Site and a place of great beauty. Why am I going there? Well, I, uh, I've been very interested in Bagan for a number of years. It's a very obscure place. It's amazing how obscure it is given the treasures that you find when you visit. That's really a reflection of the fact that Myanmar has been cut off from the world uh, since the 1960s by a military government and only recently has it emerged from its shell. So it's an exciting time to visit Myanmar. It, uh, when you go, it, it feels still like uh, from another world, another time, because it's, it is backward. It's been cut off from, from its neighbors and the rest of the world for so long that it never developed in the same way that many other parts of the region did, although that will probably change quickly now. But my, my real interest is, uh, I'm a history buff, and when I first visited Cambodia uh, back in the late 1990s and visited the, the amazing temples at the lost capital of Angkor, it was mind-blowing. I mean, it's just a fantastic thing, and, uh, and, and now it's, it's very popular. They get millions of visitors every year from around the world. I was very interested in this, so I wrote, I did a lot of research, and I ended up writing a book called The Story of Angkor, which got published in 2013. And in that, I used the monuments to tell the story of Angkor. Most history books um, really don't talk about the monuments. They talk about all the, the usual themes that historians like to talk about. But when you're a visitor, uh, you want to know what the, you know, the, this big pile of rocks I'm standing on or this, this abstract art I'm looking at. What, what's the symbolism of all this? What does it mean? Why is it here? Who built it? What, you know, to what purpose? You really want to know it from the monuments themselves because that's what you touch. That's what you feel. That's what you experience when you visit. So that's the approach I took for, for Angkor. And I knew at the time that if this was going to work, then I would definitely need to uh, attempt to something similar in Bagan, because Bagan is the other great, uh, well, we call it ancient, really medieval, but, but it feels ancient capital of Southeast Asia. Again, a city uh, full of temples that uh, was once a capital, and it was not abandoned in the same way that Angkor was, but it was more or less abandoned. It, you know, the capital moved. People still continued to live there. The city never, never went away, but uh, it's, it lost once the, once the capital left in the 14th century. Bagan sort of went downhill as, as, a, as, a, as a living city. But unlike Angkor, where that civilization really did end, and, um, and you know, you can, you can really, there was an Angkor period, and then there was a, a modern Cambodian period. They're very different and distinct. But in, in Myanmar, Bagan was their first real capital. It's where the forces that came together, the forge, whatever you can call Burmese society and culture, that's where it happened, at Bagan. And it set a pattern that even if future dynasties were different ethnic groups or located in different parts of the country, they all still continued to build off this, this legacy that was created at Bagan. There's a continuity in Burmese history that you don't have in many other parts of Southeast Asia. So even as cycles of dynasties and invasions and so on fracturing, reconsolidating, they all kept referring back to this original history at Bagan, which makes it very relevant even for today in contemporary politics, but also a very interesting place to visit, particularly because it is still sort of off the map for many people. So I'm going to be heading to Bagan, and I'm inviting you to come with me. Uh, I'll be posting a number of videos about some of the temples and some of the themes that they represent, which I think you'll find really interesting if you're into history, or if you've got an interest in Asia, or you've got an interest in ancient cultures and religions, then please join me for this journey, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm James DiBiazio. If you enjoy this video, please share it. Uh, follow my channel on YouTube. Visit my website where you'll find out a lot more about me and my books, which is jamedibiazio.com. Thanks for watching.